What is going on guys? It is Duke and today we are going to be checking out one of my favorite war attack strategies that is on the market right now and that is the drag loon. I know there are a ton of different hits out there involving hogs like go hoes, queen walk, hog rider raids. There's a ton of witch army composition raids out there that are going for three stars which is right now are so overpowering as you may have seen in the clash of clans fifth anniversary stream godson was throwing down some witches and they were ripping through almost pulled off a three star so you can see how strong witches are right now but i'm currently kind of tired of of covering witches and the witch attacks witch slap witch walk uh whichever one you're talking about so i'm kind of over it but here we uh, we had a couple good Dragloon raids we're going to get into. We're going to look at one from Red Onslaught and one from Six Slitches who was able to pull off uh, a good win here for the Red Onslaught gang. 68 to 64, uh, Sixes, they're not quite the clan that they used to be so, uh, it, you know, it wasn't a great fight as far as what they're used to putting up. As you can see, only 42 attacks used. It uh, wasn't too long ago where these guys were one of the premier uh, war clans that are out there. Currently, they you know they're they're struggling. Maybe they're rebuilding and whatnot. But Red right Onslaught, they uh, they came, they brought it. So we're gonna check out the first one here. Is going to be by Larissa. She is going to be bringing in a drag loon birthday boom style. So as you can see, the the birthday boom spell dropping down. On the two air defenses takes them out with the help of uh, some earthquakes there so that was pretty cool I'm not used to really seeing that birthday boom is kind of like a novelty thing that people are just dropping out there to put some presents on your base but here she was able to use it actually effective so able to drop out two air defenses so there's just two left and if you look that third one there is kind of set up on the outside so Queen's gonna come in her level 23 Queen is gonna be coming in has the baby drags just going and creating a funnel going to funnel her right into that third air defense and now it is time to bring in some dragons so dragons are always good balloons are always good so put them together it's nothing but a big party and we're seeing a whole bunch of dragons now coming in from the top as we can see there's only one air defense left queen will be taken care of by those dragons these dragons have enough uh hp where they're able to withstand uh, the queen and what she's bringing, not kind of, not like loons, if you will, where you kind of got to get rid of that queen. Uh, if you're not doing a pop, if it's just loons by themselves, they will struggle. But as you can see, raging up the dragons going through the center of this base, taking down the air defense, and really the only thing that's left to do a ton of damage is going to be that expo, and that's going out, bringing in the uh, loons on the right-hand side there, going to be taking out those pop-up Teslas, so, as you can see, that is about to go down. This whole base is about to be destroyed here. And it's a really cool attack. Excellent planning. That's the big thing. People are asking me, you know, what is the best attack strategy to use at Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10? Really, it all depends. And it's all centered around what kind of base you're going to hit. There's not really no one uh, catch-all type of attack strategy that you can use. It depends on the base. A base like this, she took advantage of what sixes were given her, which was these air defenses on the right-hand side. Who knew that the birthday boom was going to be able to uh, be used in a war that was, uh, you know, a, a pretty, uh, pretty big-time war here. So every war is a big-time war. So uh, it's not like it's a farm war, but something like this, she was able to use it and take advantage of it and to be able to pick off a third air defense. So that's things that you need to look for. So... Eye up a base, take some time checking it out, ask your clanmates what's going on, say how should I hit this base. It is so important to communicate, to plan out your attack strategies, even if you don't have a time to get online and, and go on Discord and, and talk to other guys. If you, uh, if you only have a few minutes in clan chat, say hey, I'm hitting number 15 here. What do you see that I don't see? Sometimes people are seeing some amazing things out there. So excellent attack here by Larissa. Next, we're going to jump over to the other side of the map. We're going to go down to number 22. As you can see, they had some troubles up and down the war map. But number 22 was a great hit here. We're going to jump in. And nope, that is not what we're looking at. So we're going to go in. Okay, we're going to jump in here. This is Oki with six slitzes was able to go ahead and take out this base going to have some uh, archers going on the right hand side have some pop up uh, giants going to bust out there but that's why we have the wizard 
and the queen going in solo. So a little bit of kamikaze queen, and he's going to zap quake one air defense down. Doing the inside air defense, pay attention to that, because the outside air defense can be taken out by the queen. So always want to keep that in mind. Be smart when you're attacking. Inside air defense, she might not get into because she's got the queen, the king in her face, but she was able to take out two air defenses. Actually, he was able to take out one with Zapquake, and she was able to take out one herself. So there's just two air defenses left up at the top there. Now he's got a hound in his camp, and I think it's another hound in the clan castle, so keep an eye on that. So dragon's coming up from the south. That's going to clear out enough of the base, enough of the portion to be able to let the hound come in. As you can see, here comes one hound from the bottom left. Some loons around. A rage spell is going to just propel them right all through. And as you can see, that hound is going through, soaking up all of the air bombs and mines. Here comes a big mega max hound in from the left on top of another air defense. So as you can see, now it is time for these drags just to push up and for the loons to funnel their way on up into the air defense uh, little compartments there. So as you can see, one air defense is going down. They're going to make their way over to a cannon and then hopefully slide their way up to the air defense, which is what happens here. So all the air defense is down, still a good group of dragons. You have a good gaggle of dragons going on and some loons in there to be able to withstand the pressure of that little Tesla farm which is uh, going into place here. So the, the Teslas aren't going to do a ton of damage to those dragons, and we have a good amount of cleanup on the backside from the king and from those pups, which pops in a perfectly uh, well-timed uh, action here. So as you can see, those, uh, those dragons are going through. They're ripping through, and the Tesla is going to focus on them in just a second. Gold mines are going to go down. That is no problem, but... Here comes the dragons over. Tesla's paying attention to that. Meanwhile, you have a uh, big uh, BK over there doing his thing. And it is a 100% three star using the drag loon. So I kind of wish that that attack was used more often. I think people are a little bit nervous, especially uh, how strong hogs and uh, la loon is going on and also witches. So like I said earlier, there's some overpowering attacks, but I think these attacks are really ones that if you can find the right base for, you can really do a lot of damage. All right, now the next one I want to show you, I usually do not show dips on this channel. I'm, I'm not big on the dips for me. I think if you're a Town Hall 11, you're hitting a Town Hall 10, you should be able to wipe them out. Uh, if you do, I'm not always thinking that it is showcase worthy, but this one is a pretty cool one. I saw it and I was like, you know what, this is different. This is a lot different. So it's a Town Hall 11 dipping down on a 10, doing a, uh, a drag loon, a cloned drag loon attack. I don't know that I've ever really seen uh, cloned dragons uh, over here at Red Onslaught. Like I said, they're using a lot of like the witch slap style of attacks, some lalos going on, but a cloned uh, dragloon is pretty cool, so I had to check it out. As you can see, he's going through. He is making a nice path. We have four different air defenses kind of centered on that bottom right-hand side, and he's going to go after him. He's going to go hard after him. So as you can see, bringing down all the drags, he had a good handful of loons, and he's going right at those air defenses. He's going to tr try and take out those corner air defenses first, and then his troops will funnel right into those middle two air defenses. Now, as you can see, he's going to be bringing in the clone spell. I think it's right around that sweeper area. As you can see, there's a clone spell. It doesn't look like they take to it. They're taken to the rage, but the, the drags are going to sweep back on through to go after that Inferno Tower. That's when they pick up a clone spell. As you can see, there's two clone drags in there, and they do do a lot of damage in taking out some of this base here. So that's pretty cool. As you can see him flapping his wings out, breathing the fire. He's all cloned up. He came out of nowhere. So we have uh, more drags to now than we had to start with, of course, because of the clone. But as you can see, they're going on, and they are going to uh, glitch out in a second. But they're doing a good job of helping out the attack, which was able to get him to get that three star. So they're still in there. They're still hanging around. Next thing you know, they start to blink and they are gone. But by the time they are out of there, they were able to help Louise just go ahead and get that uh, great attack in here. So we still have a whole bunch of drags going through. These are the level six dragons. And there's just a little bit of this base left. So as you can see, he's ripping through. One archer tower is not going to do squat as far as uh, defending off these drags. So they're going to go through. They're going to rip through. They are taking out air defense. Nothing's left on this base at this point. So this was a cool attack. So um, 
You guys in some of the higher level uh, war leagues know that Town Hall 11s need to dip down and take care of those Town Hall 10s. Three star them, that way the Town Hall 10s are going to jump up and take out uh, two stars, hopefully on a Town Hall 11. So some of you guys might be complaining about a uh, 11 versus 10, but we're seeing it all the time and hopefully they're getting three stars. And as you can see, they're going to rip down and see if they can take out that last little uh, builder's hut. So as you can see, the giant's going to pop out and he's going to get wrecked. So nothing he can do about that. So a cool attack and different style, which I always love different styles. Let me know down below if there's any different style of attacks that you guys have been using. Anything that you're really liking as of late. Uh, one thing that I did do is I put a little uh, poll up on the uh, the community uh, YouTube uh, post now, which is something new. It's a new feature that's out there. I'm going to put it right up here. As you can see, it was a poll, so it's just another way that I can interact with you guys, see what you guys are looking for. The poll I put up today was, do you guys like uh, farm videos? Do you guys like war attack strategy videos? Or do you want to see some trophy pushing? And uh, I think as far as what the response was, you guys want to see more war attack strategy. So we're going to try and cover Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, get into some point fives. I know some of you guys are asking me for that. I've been neglecting it only because up here at Red Onslaught, we're not seeing any point fives because CWL does not allow point fives. But we're going to get in. We're going to check it out. We're going to try and run the table on it. We will catch you guys later.